Hey folks, my knife here again. And uh, so you can see it's night, but it's a different night from before. I took a bit of uh, off-screen time just to try and get things sorted out a little bit. So I uh, picked up some more clay and made myself a few more vessels and uh, managed to uh, pack some of my food away. So I got another vessel full of food in there. Uh, this is just some odds and ends. And I've got uh, another vessel, two empty vessels for my inventory to sort things out. So you see, I can get, I've got a bit of room now to finally do something. Uh, the other thing I did is, since I had uh, I exhausted this area in terms of panning for ores, or exhausted this chunk, I went over to a couple of neighboring chunks. First one I went over to got nothing. Second one I went over to I got quite a bit of stuff actually. Um, and then the third one I think all I got was one uh, platinum. So you can see here I end up with two platinum nuggets and platinum currently there's no use for it in TFC so <clears throat> Woohoo, I've got two platinum nuggets. Um, I did manage to get a couple more copper nuggets, so now I have the 10 necessary to make my, uh, uh, to make a, at least one tool of some kind. But interestingly, I also got these two gold nuggets. And the reason that's interesting is because there is an alloy called rose gold, which is a two tier or a second tier metal, uh, like the bronzes. I mean, it isn't as good as bronze, but it's up in the same, it's in the same tier of metals as bronze meaning that, uh, um, you know, if you, uh, it will last longer than copper, for example, has better durability in copper and it's faster than copper. And in theory, like we could actually, if, you know, get to iron and, uh, and uh, we could use an anvil out of rose gold, for example, to make iron implements if we wanted to. Now that probably won't happen, but for right now, what it means is I can save some of my copper and uh, make up, and get up to uh, 10 units of rose gold here and I'll actually end up with a better with a uh, better tool than I otherwise would have. Uh, do I have enough? Oh I got plenty. Oh what else should we make here? Let's see I've got patterns for a saw, a pickaxe, a pro pick, that's a scythe. Um, don't really need a hammer. Oh, that's not a scythe, that's a pro pick, yeah. Um, I guess just go with a couple more. Uh oh, I let myself get hungry. Eat, eat, eat before I die. Look at that, eh? I lost half of, I, I don't understand why I lose half my points at the first pang of hunger. You know, it's like, do, 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 do. You know, you stand around, then your tummy grumbles, and suddenly you're bleeding out of your eyes and your ears and your nose, and you're on the verge of death. Seems a little odd to me. But anyway, uh, let's get this guy in here. And how about we make up one more of these drinking vessels? Yeah, it's good to have a few of those just in case one breaks. Uh, good, I still have enough thatch. And somewhere in amongst these, yeah, there we go. Have enough logs. Oh, the other thing you'll notice I had to do. I've upgraded to a TFC 0.78.16. And uh, so far everything seems to be okay. But one of the changes they made was that thatch now catches fire. I mean, it makes sense that it does, but it didn't used to. So that means I can't have thatch right around my uh, <laughs> pit kiln or else my whole place will burn down on me. So I've replaced those with... Uh, these uh, cobblestone. Actually, let me get this started first. And the only thing I was concerned about, I'm not sure if these ones to the side will catch, but I've done two. I fired the pit kiln twice, and so far nothing's burnt down, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed on that. Uh, what was I going to show you? Okay, oh uh, yeah, and when I was, <laughs> I got, picked up a few flint from just digging up gravel. Um... Oh, I was going to show you cobblestone. I don't know whether I've ever pointed this out before, but you can take four rocks of the same type and you put them together in your crafting grid and that'll give you a cobblestone block. Yeah, but in TFC, cobblestone obeys gravity, so it's like dirt, it'll slump. So I had to shore these up from behind to make sure they wouldn't fall inward on me. So, oh, what else do we need to do here? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm just trying to remember what happened is, <laughs> so... The night that I uh, ended on the previous episode, um, I, I wanted to make up some more clay vessels, or uh, ceramic vessels, 
uh, but I was out of clay. So I decided to ch take a chance and run outside. I only collected five clay before I was waylaid by a spider and a zombie, so I hightailed it back inside. Um, poked a hole. The, the spider ended up camping out on top of the roof, though. So I poked a hole and managed to bludgeon him to death with my uh, with my axe, and I got uh, where is it here? And I got uh, a couple of string for my efforts. So I can build a fishing pole now if I want. <laughs> if things get desperate, I can start cooking up fish. Anyway, this is going to take a few hours to cook up. I don't think I've got anything else to show you in the interim. Um, I had some cabbage seeds that I'd collected from the previous episode. So I went and I uh, tilled a plot and put those in. And I discovered uh, another crop while I was out panning for ores. I haven't done anything with it yet, but I'll take you over there come morning. So uh, when this is finished firing, I'll uh, bring it back in and then you'll be able to see me while I try and decide which tool I'm going to build. Uh, the saw is very tempting, but I don't know. I think I need more ore and the panning isn't working out very well for me. So I think I'm going to have to go with a pick and hope to find an exposed vein somewhere. But I'll see you back in a little bit. Bye. Okay, folks, The uh, welcome back. The pit kiln just finished up. And as you can see, we're a little ways into morning, not too far. And uh, after thinking about it, I have decided that, uh, yes, indeed, I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm gonna go with the pickaxe. It'd be nice, it'd be really nice to have a, uh, whoops, wrong one. This is the one. What? It didn't work. It didn't work. Hmm. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Oh, I got the proportions the wrong way around. It's supposed to be 80% gold and 20% copper. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I mean, that's I'm, there's a range in there, but the easy uh, proportion I was shooting for was that. Oh, well, that's going to put a little crimp on my plants. Okay, so it's back to the original plan. Which is just to... Uh, <clears throat> yes, yes. Which is just to... Uh, you know, get on with getting on. So why don't we do up a couple of these because we're going to be needing these soon and you can never have too many of these. All right, well, I guess, uh, you know, we'll get back to you uh, again in a while. I got to go get more thatch too. Okay, well, I'll bring you guys back in when I actually have something to show you. It'll probably be nighttime then. Oh, this is just not working out well for me, but ah, hey. That's the, uh, I was going to say that's, that's what you get with a live television, but this isn't actually live. This is recorded, but, oh, well, even with a recorded television. See you guys in a bit. Well, uh, I got, I got this thing going, but it's going to take about eight hours. So I figured I might as well uh, do a couple of other things while it's going on. Just check the time here. 1321. So it'll be ready like at 20, 21 hours, 22, somewhere in that range. So let's go over here and look at a couple of things. Now, first off, at the end of the previous episode, I'd found some stuff over here that I was calling squash. Oh, this is maybe unsafe territory to be walking on, eh? Um, but now that it's uh, advanced a bit further, I can see that, no, it's actually potatoes. Um, and this is, potatoes, when they show these uh, flowers, is that's when they're ripe and ready to be old. Um, at its early stages, there's a stage where potatoes look the plant looks a little bit like squash. But anyway, so we can pull these up. Get ourselves some potatoes. Ooh, we got three seeds out of it. Some lovely potatoes, yes. I'll take what I can get. Um, the other thing I was going to show you is the carrots I found over here. Assuming I don't fall into a death pit along the way. Where did... Oh, I'm still over the death pit. Okay. Was it here? No, it must have been further up. Okay. Oh, here, there. Ah, okay. <clears throat> so the only thing is, is I was hoping there'd be more in the area, but I don't see anything. Pity thought. 
I was rather hoping for more. Jesus. Well, if we ever decide to go splunking, it's like no shortage of caves around here to do it in. Yeah, that appears to be the only one. And from here, actually, we can't even see that one. They're a pretty low-down crop. I mean that in the height sense, not in the moral sense. Okay, but still, we'll get something for it. So we'll get at least one seed bag and indeed just one. So let's go plant that guy. Let's go plant that in our potatoes. Get them out of the way first and we'll probably still have a bit of time. So we'll take a little bit of a wander into some mountains if we can because that's our best chance of seeing some exposed ore. It's in the mountains. Okay, where, oh where has my... Who gotten to? And no, I'm not going to make any of those standard hoe jokes. Uh, that's not for me. This is not that kind of channel. Well, actually, this is that kind of channel. I just don't happen to do that particular thing with it. So, Oh, I like a nice, neat, and tidy garden. Straight edges. Oh, oh you don't know what that does for me. See, I told you it was that kind of channel. One, two, three. All right. Our garden's looking good. We got all kinds of stuff going in here. One, two, three, four, five. We're already up to five different crops. Hallelujah. Um, those look like mountains. Let's go have a look. Oh, let's check the time first. Uh, four more. Oh, actually, it's almost nighttime. Damn it. All right. Uh, let's have something to eat. Oh, actually, what are we low on? We're low on grain, fruit, and dairy. Do I have any of the above? I have fruit. Let's eat some fruit. Let's just chow down on... Oh, cherries. Oh, I love cherries when they're in season. BC cherries, awesome. They're just awesome when they're in season. I think part of the reason is because since they're grown locally, um, we get them when they're closer to ripe instead of where they have to pick them early because they're shipping them across country or whatever. But just, oh, they just taste so good. All right, uh, so if we have a look here, we can see uh, we're all up on our fruit. All right, well, I guess I'm not going to do any more wandering about, so I'll just uh, cut it here until this is done. And uh, actually, when this finishes up, it'll still be middle of the night, like I say, 2100, and nothing else exciting is going to happen tonight. So I won't even bother bringing it in just to watch me pour out the, uh, the, the tool head. I mean, if you really want to see me do that, go look at season one <laughs> i do lots of tool heads in season one and i'm sure there'll be more to come in this this season as well but so i'll just bring you back in the morning when we can go out and do a bit of exploring so bye for now and as we leave the late stone age my knife is displaying for us what the discerning miner will be carrying a shiny new copper pickaxe this one's a keeper girls yeah so i have my uh oh, let's get out of this mode oh there we go Ooh, look at my copper pickaxe all right, it's morning. I have a copper pickaxe. Uh, comes with a uh, warranty. It'll die when it dies. Uh, don't see anyone immediately about, but with all the... Uh, part of the problem, of course, is that with all the holes in this place, I think i got to turn those beacons off. They're okay right now, but once I have a lot more spots marked, like right now i got limonite marked there, home base mark there and somewhere over there is the uh, bismuth or something anyway. but once I get a lot more of them it's going to be annoying so I'll have to turn those off but right now hope I didn't pop anyone's eardrums with that but we're going to go a looking to see if we can see any exposed copper or tetrahedrite what the hell gold Oh, it's loading up my... Oh, no, it's loading up stuff for my test? Okay, well, I'll deal with that off-camera. Yeah, I think it's uh, just... I'm not sure what's going on here. But, like, I haven't been over there, so I don't know what that is. But it looks like it's loaded up some stuff for my test game. Some of the waypoints, that is, for my test game. Okay, uh... uh we need to get in closer. Have a closer look here. See if there's anything to be seen here. What kind of rock is this anyway? Day site. Okay. 
Don't know that tells me a whole lot. Okay, let's go up a bit. Nothing there. Oh, something in over here, although it looks like it might be uh, Bismuth of the Night. Yeah, it's Bismuth of the Night, I think. We can confirm it. Yep. Ooh, it's a rich vein, though, so... If ever I start needing bismuthonite, I'll have some handy. And I don't like the possibilities for bad guys spawning here, so let's uh, light it up a bit. Don't see anything else here. Yeah, that's one of the things I really like a lot about the uh, about these new builds of TFC is that you can actually like exploring is a lot more interesting now because you can actually look up at the rocks and sometimes see exposed stuff like exposed veins of ore and things like that. Very nice. A lot more to look at as you wander around. Nothing there. And even if I do see something, it's probably just going to be more bismuth night. Okay. Something there. Oh my god, that's probably graphite. <laughs> I'm finding all this... Yeah, I think that is, that, that is graphite. Jeez, I'm finding all this stuff that's kind of hard to find and is really useful in the late game, but is absolutely useless to us right now. Huh, man, yeah, that's exactly what that is, graphite. Okay, uh, I won't bother digging it out. Cool. But alas, still no copper ores. Don't see anything here. All this exposed rock and well I did find I have found two ores, just not the ores I'm looking for. So can't be too greedy. Well actually I can. Just doesn't do me any good. Huh? Something else up there. Oh, that looks like, um, hematite? Well, if I'm lucky, it's tetrahedrite. Let's see. Magnetite. Oh, that's right, magnetite. Oh, well, we've got... <laughs> we've got iron, we've got everything we need to make a blast furnace, but we have no copper. We are primitive, just barely out of Stone Age people, staying here going, oh, oh. This is hard gray stuff. We don't know what to do with it. Uh, what do we want? Well, say there's magnetite here. Okay. Like lots of cool stuff, but not stuff that we can use yet. 11 o'clock. Okay. Just want to make sure I don't get caught too far from home when the heebly greebly show up. Anything else? Uh, we'll come down through here then, and swing around to the mountains on the left. Oh, didn't make it. See, there's a lot of exposed rock there, but no, nothing. Oh, there's a bunch back here I should have looked at. Uh, can I get up there? Have shovel, will travel. All right, let's come up here and see if there's anything in here that strikes our fancy. No. That doesn't look like it. Ooh, some more big trees. Whoa, almost walked off the edge. Ha, uh. <laughs> so we have both Kapok and Sequoia in close proximity. We certainly won't be uh, hard up for wood. Oh, there's a chicken. 
All right. Well, 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 that's going to come in handy. Uh, more bismuth. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Wait a minute. No, oh, it's, is that a, it's pretty high up. I thought I spotted a copper deposit up in that mountain. Yeah, up there. That's either copper or it's more of the kaolinite. If it's copper, it's pretty friggin' high up. Yeah, it looks like copper. Uh, maybe I can get to it. Oh, there's hematite down here. Gee, man, we got... Oh, no. Now, this really is squash. See? Got a squash out of it. So that's handy. All right. Uh, let's see if we can get to that copper. Well, I mean, one way or another I'll be able to. Let's just see how difficult it is. All right. Oh, yeah, some up there with some dirt ready to fall on my head. Lovely. Maybe I'll get lucky and this will be a rich vein of copper. Or a vein of rich copper, rather. Nope, doesn't look like it. In fact, it looks like poor. Ah, poor copper. Well, I'll take poor over nothing. There's a whole bunch more of it up there, though. All right, let's start working our way up. Oh yeah, there's some more there. Oh no, that's hematite. Oh god, we've got hematite and copper mixed in here. A cornucopia of ore. But the stuff I wanted, I guess, is way up there. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to have to go back and see exactly where that is because there was there was more than just the one there was like I thought I saw a st stack of three somewhere up there yeah that's that stuff way up there yeah what time is it now it's time to get back okay what I'm gonna have to do is uh, put together a bunch of thatch and pillar up I think yeah I think that's what I'm gonna have to do unfortunately I have to wait until tomorrow all right, so let's get back. Oh, here's some more squash, great. And plant our squash. Ooh, more, more, more food. Well, we're certainly not gonna starve. Which is nice. Starving is unpleasant. Uh, I needed my hoe out. Okay. Me ho, me ho. Where's me ho? Do, 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 do. There it is. And eh, wouldn't hurt to have a bit more. Oh, that's just the one. I was hoping there'd be more, uh, a lot more clay than that there. Oh. Okay. And now we have yet another crop. In. Uh, that's the thing I like about spawn protection in TFC. So it means even after night falls, you have a bit of time before the mobs from... Like, the mob, once you've been in an area a while, you basically... Mobs don't spawn within your... Uh, uh, your current chunk or any of the surrounding chunks, so they have to come from at least two chunks away. So gives you a bit of time to get yourself settled in. All right, well, I'm, uh, this is not enough. Uh, if I hold down shift, you'll see it's 15. So when you pick up these, I don't even have any floating around. When you pick up the regular nuggets off the ground, they're 10 units. This is a whopping 15. A normal, uh, 
a normal vein of stuff, like the normal stuff you mine out of rocks is 25. This rich stuff here is 35. That's nice. Three of those, and you can make yourself a tool head, as opposed to like seven of these. <laughs> Four of the regular. So, all right, well, uh, it's going to be another dull night, so I will bring you back in in the morning. See you then. Bye. All right. Oh, it's daylight. Good. Um, just wondering what to do here. Um, like my plan is to go over there and try and mine out. Forgot to check around to make sure I'm not being waylaid by anything. Uh, my plan was to go back over here and try and mine out whatever I could find of that admittedly poor copper vein. But better poor than nothing. I'll take poor. <laughs> ah, hear that? Those are roosters crowing. That's the sound I was talking about. And they're like bloody loud. Like they could be... Well, actually, it was probably just this guy here. Yeah. Well, it sounds actually like maybe they've uh, the devs have turned the volume down because it was really loud before, and, you know, I ended up having to move my chicken coop far enough away so I wasn't being blown out of my socks every morning when they crowed. But if there's more than one, I mean, it just sounds like a rooster crowing. But if there's more than one, they're just slightly out of sync, and then they sound, sounds like someone's strangling them to death. So, and you know, I can sort of empathize with that too. All right, so, um, what was I saying? Oh, I was saying that, uh, you know, what I want to do next is come over here and get that copper. Um, but I'm kind of, it's always when I'm doing something like, uh, you know, what I consider, you know, kind of a, repetitive task that I'm not never sure really whether to have you guys watch me do it or not. If I don't, then I get comments and videos saying, oh man, you're cutting out all the good stuff. And if I do, then I get comments and videos saying, oh man, you're boring. So there's a normal rooster. The other one was a pheasant, a male pheasant. So we've got a mated pair of chickens, or sorry, or rather a pair of chickens which we can mate. That'll be useful. So, what I'll do, I think, is I'll, uh, I'll show you some of the mining here. Oh, well, it's just cabbage. We already have cabbage. Yeah, I can come back later if I need more. Um, I'll show you some of the mining over here and then just cut the rest out or maybe speed it up if it's a small vein or something. Ooh, skeletons. Let's get the hell out of here. Ah, yes, that is a problem. Oh, please don't kill me. I would really rather you didn't. Yeah, it was up there. Yeah, there it is. Oh, okay, long way around. Um... And, uh, so anyway, yeah, so I'll, do, I think I'll, at very least, well, I'll record it, and then when I'm editing, if it seems too boring to me, then I'll cut it out. We'll see how it goes. But it's right under that one, right? Yep, they're all in the same area. Okay, do I have enough of these yet? Two. Well, that's definitely not enough. Eighteen. That's probably getting pretty close. 27, that's got to do it. That's got to do it, don't you think? Yeah, how can that not? How can that not be right? Here. Okay, this looks like it's good as posy. Up we go. Into the wild blue yonder. This direction. Whoops, did that wrong. Ooh, and I get to do my daring acrobatics. As I build my straw scaffold. Yeah. 
Yeah, workman's compensation, and I don't think it's going to uh, cover this. All right, uh, is there any dirt on top of him? No. Okay, good. All right, well, we got three of those guys now. At 15, gee, that's all of 45. 60, we have 60% of a tool. 60% of an ingot. Well, that was disappointing. Alright, let's uh, go through this way. <laughs> you can tell me that's all there was to this deposit? Four stinking bits of ore. I just assume that they stink because, you know, copper. Every time I see it on TV, it's you dirty coppers. So I just assume they stink. Yeah, I know, I'm mining above my head. It could all collapse down on me and all end horribly in a loss of life, my own. Okay, that's not being very uh, forthcoming, so let's dig away the other area we were in. Yeah, gotta take this out. Well, that is uh, remarkably disappointing. Oh, well, I'm going to whack away at rocks for a little bit just to see if I can find it. I can't afford to go too long, though, because a copper uh, axle, or copper pickaxe will wear down pretty quickly. But I can afford to have a little bit of a look around, and I'll just edit it out. Actually, I'm never sure why I tell you guys that I'm editing, going to edit things out, since if I edit them out, then you won't hear me telling you that I'm going to edit them out. I'll take it up with my shrink. Maybe he'll know. Yeah, well, uh, I guess the one other thing I could do is I could dig down a bit. Maybe it's hiding. Maybe it's a bit more hiding down. Oh, <laughs> more hematite. Great. Oh, all right. Well, that was a wasn't a complete bust, but it certainly wasn't uh, all that I had hoped it would be. And down we go. So, what time is it? 1400. Yeah, we haven't got a whole lot of time left for exploring. Be nice when I get the bed and then I can turn off mobs. And then the nights won't be such a waste. For all the effect that the mobs have had, though, well, I did get those string, I guess. They did attack me once. I think maybe next time I just won't bother playing with them one at all. We'll see. Hmm. Anything else up there of interest? Uh, you can see lots of hematite. There's hematite there and there and there and there. Plus the uh, these two here. But hematite's no good to us yet. Whoops. Oh, and skeletons this way, isn't it? Uh, yeah. He'll enjoy peppering me with arrows. Let's see if we can go around him. Are there any other rocky outcrops over here? We looked at this one. Well, it looks like there's another one over here. Nah, it's all dirt. Pig. We have ourselves a pig. Actually, a skeleton might have spawned, eh? Wishful thinking? Oh, and I figured out that gold 
Um, I had thought that maybe it was uh, the minimap was just picking up waypoints from my test uh, test game. But I don't think so. I think that's actually, oh, it's not that far away. You see, just 202 meters. So I think maybe that's like where I spawned and I just have lost track of it, which is like, you know, so rare for me, you know. I forget where I've come from or where I am or where I'm going. But, you know, hey, it happens to the best of us and, you know, that's what I am. I am the best of us. So I know, sad statement that, but get used to it. Nothing there. And, oh, the day's running out. Okay, all right. Okay, well, I think we've pretty much got an episode in. Didn't accomplish a lot. Well, we got, I, I shouldn't say that. We got ourselves our first metal tool, a pickaxe. We did find some ore. Oh, there's a fruit tree there. And what else did we do? We found a couple new crops and got them planted. And you got to watch me screw up the recipe for rose gold. I don't... Bears will now attack you, but I don't think wolves will. Let's find out. Oh, apparently not. At least I think I think bears will attack you. They now growl and chase, and I haven't bothered to stop and let them catch me to see what, uh, <laughs> what would come of it. Oh, I'm actually uh, farther from home than I thought. Ooh, ooh. Do, 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 do. 113 desperate meters away. Yeah, that's a few too many chunks, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's... Oh, here come the bad guys. Yeah, spawn protection is no good if you're not in the area where you have spawn protection. Okay, come on. Here, around here. Oh, and in and we go and safely buckled in for the night. And just as I'm about to starve, oh, I get some fruit in my belly. Okay. All right, so I'll call it here. And uh, I guess we have some more exploring ahead of us because that's not enough copper. I've got one. Let's see, what is that? four times 15 60 and i've got one other nugget from before which is worth 10 so that's only 70. so at the very least i have to find three more nuggets now i do have a bunch of bismuth so if i could even find no i'd have to find at least two sphalerite nuggets too so anyway so we gotta find three copper nuggets two sphalerite nuggets something like that so that i can make another tool my preference, of course, would be to find a decent vein where I can make a whole bunch of tools. But we'll have a look for that in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope you join me back for the next episode. Thanks for being here with me on this one. I'll see you later.